What natural resource can help a community with health and education? A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. The first part of each chapter begins with an 11-year-old girl named Naya, who is part of the newer tribe. She spends eight hours a day collecting water for her family's survival. And it's not clean water. The second character of each chapter is Salva Dute, who in 1985 is 10 years old and attending school. When they hear gunshots, pew, pew, and the headmaster yells, run for the bush and do not go home. Selva runs. Rebels from Southern Sudan are looking for children to become soldiers to help fight the government in the North. This civil war will go on for 21 years, but it's not the only conflict. Naya is from the Nuer tribe and Selva is from the Dinka tribe. These two tribes do not get along. People often divide themselves into groups and in the end we find that we have more in common than not. As the story progresses, both Naya and Selva are challenged. Naya, fetching water eight hours a day, is unable to get an education which will affect the rest of her life. Selva is looking for a group to join, to try to survive with as he walks across the desert. Groups don't want to take on children. They'll make too much noise. They'll be a burden. They'll slow the group down. Salva will be a refugee for years, and it will be many more before he is able to reunite with his family. This book is a strong example of hope and survival, helping and supporting your family through sickness and sharing resources. We all need clean water. The character who stands out the most for me is Salva's uncle Mariel, who he is able to reunite with as part of a group as they're walking across the desert. Uncle Mariel is a soldier. He treats everyone with respect and he maintains the peace. He is fortunate to have a gun, which is helpful to hunt an animal and bring back food for the whole group to share. But at times there aren't any animals and they have run out of water. He encourages Salva to keep walking across the desert. Great leaders have an inner strength and they pass on that positivity to others. Salva learns to take one step at a time and he uses this advice throughout his life. Linda Sue Park ends A Long Walk to Water by pulling everything together for both characters. And even though this book was published in 2010, it is still relevant for many parts of the world. Women and girls cannot get an education or work a job because they are fetching water all day long. Selva has a helpful idea, but you're going to have to finish the book to find out what it is. Thanks for watching, keep reading, and have a great week.